Hey guys, Gnomish Mafia Enforcer back here. We're going to go take a look at the uh, Lone Shadow Long Swordsman. He's a purple ninja in a pit, uh, blocking our way to uh, Ashina Depths. So you can see I'm here at the Ashina Castle entrance. This is right after Blazing Bull, and I'll show you guys a trick to get in here. Uh, you want to go back into this door. Uh, you actually want to open that door too if you can. Then go down here. And this takes you to another idol. Kind of hard to uh, uh, to find. That's the Ashina Reservoir. And we're going to avoid those guys. Come over here. And jump across these two. And then we're going to jump across and then immediately sprint towards that guy. So he doesn't raise the alarm. And then jump right over here like that. So you'll see uh, uh, this samurai guy standing here. He's actually part of a quest. You can send him to uh, the lower dungeon uh, as uh, um, a sacrifice. And he shows up later. Uh, it's really pretty sad. Uh, but we're going to sneak up here to the lone swordsman. And that's our guy right there. The jump here is a little tricky. Uh, so we'll jump to that in a second. So... Uh, for this, I'm actually going to use the axe, and I'm going to use fang and blade, so I'm just going to combo that over and over again, and then fence with him after we get our first uh, kill. And then uh, I like using floating passage, because it's, uh, uh, it's a really good combo attack, uh, so I've got that going. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop a Akko. I'm going to use the spirit fall, but you can use the candy. And then we're going to go take our first death blow on this guy. Just like that. And then from this point forward, I'm just going to chain attack this guy until we overwhelm his posture. Going to back up, heal just a bit, and then run around and avoid him. But we don't want to give him too much time to reset. Perfect, 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 and now this barrier is down and we can get into Ashina Depths.